If you want to find a nice guy, put your feet on the internet. When I lived on my own, I would shower maybe monthly. I feel like I'm gonna, my skin's gonna burn off with this. Here we go, I'm with a chick that's gonna tell you guys all about your dumb shit. stuff. You want more advice, dole it out gladly. You want bad advice, man, I'll give it out gladly. I got some good advice for you. No, you don't. How do you start your podcast? What do you say in the beginning of your I podcast? I literally to like... always say, hey, hello to my ladies, my gays, my theys, and the men who get it. That's every Because I couldn't think of it. I need a catchphrase. I need to do, do something it. that could be like, what What up, people? It's Chesco, the speech prof. Uh, and I am here on Bad Advice Wednesdays, the show where myself and a guest give bad advice with no context. And try not to ruin your life. Nailed it. Uh, today, <laughs> I have Reagan from the F the Nice Guy podcast on to help me ruin your life. But as always, before we get to giving you your bad advice to questions without context, I think it's important to for you all to get to know who exactly is giving this advice uh, with me. So I followed Reagan uh, a while, not not too long ago, uh, when your, your podcast page popped up on my TikTok. Uh, I was talking about nice guys uh and in and, and a not so nice way right truly, so, and, truly. Yeah, and uh and i was like this is great and so i started following along uh we started interacting in the comment sections and lo and behold we're best friends now yeah um and we have so bracelets it's it's they're beautiful you can't really see them right now because the camera so reagan if if you if any of my followers were to stumble across your page what what should they be be, be uh, prepared for what are they going to see uh, well, you're going to see me shredding, quote unquote, nice guys, <laughs> which is basically any guy who uses the this veil of niceness to try and get what they want, which they then choose to remove as soon as they don't get with you or like get your attention. And uh, I sometimes I get tagged in real people. I'll talk about uh, people from movies or TV sometimes. And on the podcast, I share a lot of my own personal stories. So if you're into shredding the nice guy and want to learn, hopefully, good advice, like good advice right. for dealing with nice, <laughs> quote unquote, nice guys, then that's that's what I'm here for. You know, what what kind of got you into that? Like, what would what was what made? Because I know you had a TikTok before. You have another page. I do. I'm psychotic. I found that out by accident when I said I was like, oh, Jeff, <laughs> oh, 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 this is. I think this is the same person. Um, but like, what what was the impetus? What was the, what made you decide to kind of go this route with the podcast? Uh, yeah. Well, I actually had people tag me one time in my new page, like telling me I have a catfish and someone's stealing <laughs> my content, and I was like, no, nope, still me, <laughs> just doing weird stuff. You know, I actually. Um, I had a situation where I had a friend that nice guyed me. <laughs> like I mm -hmm. found out he was not nice at all uh, to just keep a, a story light. But yeah, and I was talking to a bunch of my girlfriends and they had a billion stories about the same type of dude. And I realized like, you know, you hit an age where the a-holes, you're pretty, you know, you catch them quick. <laughs> like when they happen, you're like, that, that guy was a jerk. But as you get older, you really start to notice the more insidious, like, nice guy behavior. Oh, mm -hmm. and it, it's harder to understand. And it's something that, you know, I wanted to talk about because so many of us didn't share our stories or talk about what happened because it took a while to even register that it happened. You're like, wait a second. That guy was not nice. <laughs> that guy was a jerk. So that that's what uh, started the ball rolling. And then, yeah, now we're just uh, full swing, just going for it. <laughs> it's just going for the nice guys. Personal vendetta. What's your worst? I guess we, I like trauma light is what you say on your, uh, <laughs> on your podcast. Yeah. What is your, what is your, your, your worst trauma light, uh, nice guy experience that you've, you've had? Oh my, oh, we're, I don't even, it's like, where on the realm do we want we could go the route of the guy who like pretended because he didn't he didn't contact me for two days and pretended he was in jail and was arrested and then called, called out my name from the bench in the jail. Like that was a story that was told to me that I kind of believed. It's that... <laughs> so instead yeah. of just telling you what actually happened. <laughs> yes, like which would have been like I was with a girl and I'd be like, yeah. oh, okay, we're not exclusive. So like why the whole tale? Like why are we right. doing this? I 
I like you'll then... never guess. I rescued. I was in the process of rescuing a family from a burning house, yeah. and they thought I was breaking in, and they threw me in jail. Uh, he literally, he literally said I was uh my roommate, who's his was his best friend. My uh-huh. roommate was was you know slandering or uh, you know not respecting his girlfriend, and so I defended her honor. We got into a fist of cuffs. We got into a fight. And then the police were called and because of a misunderstanding and they hauled me away. And I'm like, oh, what? Have you had any uh, any like of your followers share stuff that you're just you weren't prepared for? I had a, a friend come on who's in the production industry. Uh, she does. She's an actress as well as like a, she's a writer. She does all the cool things that cool chicks mm-hmm. do. Um, and she had a guy who like came in and was like, Hey, I want to, um, I want to uplift lift women. I want to uplift women in this industry. Let me, let me give you my resources. Cause he like was a, he's a big wig, um, in the middle of, of nowhere, <laughs> but like, so take that as and you she's will. Like, Finally, somebody, yes. he- our hero, our hero, like what a nice guy. Wow. Uh, and then they didn't take his script notes. Oh. They they didn't want to wait, do wait, like let me let me guess though he took it really well he took it so well that he pulled back from the project didn't tell them and six days before they were supposed to shoot he uh his friend not even him his friend let them know so they like their whole project almost they had to like figure it out in six days um but you know what he's really a he's a feminist <laughs> he's really right, of course, looking out for of women course. that's that's he's, the big he's one. misunderstood he's misunderstood yeah. The the new age of the nice guy feminist, I think, has been baffling. Where it's like the guys coming in like I'm different, and then they're like totally. Host. I'm not it's like, like I, yes. I'll be honest. That's something I've struggled with is uh, with my own content is not coming off as like I'm not like the other guys, yeah. right? Because it's because it's so easy to fall into that. <laughs> yeah, uh, and it's but I mean I guess do you have any? with your with your your research on this subject your, yes. your expertise on this do you are I there made have up you degree. noticed yes <laughs> have you noticed any like um any commonalities or any, any like kind of giveaways when somebody is like oh my a God. nice guy versus actually so being many. like a nice person <laughs> they, they center themselves like it's always about them like instead of it being like what have you been through as a woman they're like i stand up for women i wouldn't let anybody i'm the hero and you're like are you are you take the cape off, buddy? <laughs> um, they're they're always entitled. They always think that like they deserved you because if someone has a big reaction to not getting with you, that means they thought they had you or they thought they, they deserved you in some way. Um, usually, uh, th- they can be like uh, the life of the party nice guy who, as soon as you don't do what he likes, is a jerk. Or they can be the woe is me nice guy, which is like. Oh, like, why won't you get with me? She must be a big old meanie. <laughs> I'm sure those are the words they use, right? Yes, that's it. If they say big it's old me- meanie, you know. It's on their Tinder pro. No yeah. big old meanies. <laughs> no mean girls, okay? Whoa, whoa, red flag. Yeah, it, it, you'll just, I, I think, just listen to the way they talk about other women would be number one above all else. If they're constantly calling women like crazy, if they're constantly the victim of women, like like their whole life has been the sad tale of how women have used and abused them and not appreciated them. If every single woman is a problem, then you might want to look. What's the common? It. What's the common factor there? <laughs> yes, I just don't get it. Every single relationship I've ever been on has ended horribly. <laughs> God, what? It's it must so be weird. all women. It must just be it's just all women, women yeah. are horrible. It couldn't yeah. be me. No self reflection. I'm gonna keep doing the same thing. I'm gonna pl- I'm gonna plug along, do the same thing, and eventually I'm gonna find the a right nice girl. girl right? Yeah, the perfect one. <laughs> and the dating scene with women. Do you do you ever? F- are there nice nice guy women, uh, or is it just <laughs> is it exclusive to? I, I, I have what a funny term, nice guy women. Is that is that totally in the realm of uh, of men? Well. A personal experience, I've not seen it in my dating life with women. I've seen it with men um, and, and men and friendships with men. But, you know, through my talks with, you know, Naya, Naya Papaya. Yeah. <laughs> Love her. <laughs> we've through our discussions, we've really talked about a lot how the nice guy mentality is deeply rooted in misogyny. 
um, and thinking you're better and thinking you're deserving of and thinking what a woman should be. And so I think that's why you see it, to get serious for a second, I think that's why you see it more uh, in men is because uh, the the entitlement and the expectations that often come with a nice guy are really rooted, I think, in misogyny. So that fun old thing. Maybe then maybe the uh, the quote unquote nice guy woman, the the mythical one, would be the one that it, you know. The, there there are site there are, are accounts that are like supporting these terrible guys. Yeah, you know the the ones that are like it was like Pearl. I think is one of oh, the okay. men are bad is because women are terrible, and we need to excuse the actions of men. The strength it takes for me not to talk about those type of accounts <laughs> because it's not my lane. It's not what I'm doing. But yeah, I would say that's deep rooted in um, that would be the closest probably. But that to me is like women really wanting to be accepted by men. Like they're like so desperate to be accepted that they're like, I'm willing to just stomp on my fellow woman. Like if I get up, but it's like, it's just so ironic because like, but they'll never see you as equals because those are the dudes that don't. Like clearly don't like women. It's like as much as they like you, they'll never like you. I, I get, you know, guys that are really mad at me for for critiquing these guys online. They're like, well, why don't you ever critique women? And because like there and I'll, I'll admit, there are problematic women that exist, right? It's not like and but the, every time I've ever, even like in a positive way, when I stitch a, a, a woman that's a creator or says something, the comment sections get so gross so quickly <laughs> that it's it, and there's and there's only so much I can control of it that I either have to like private the video or or just just turn you know turn off commenting uh for it and so, you know, but it's like the, the they're they're asking me why I'm not critiquing them because every time I do say something that is critical and it came from the the mouth of a someone that presents as a woman I know that if it if it takes off it's not going to be about what she said. It's not going to be about what I said. It's going to be a ton of attacks on how she looks. Like even recently, I did the one. Um, there was the uh, the the woman that went into Target that uh, that was like talking about how these 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 are uh, they're indoctrinating our children with these pride clothes. <laughs> yes, uh, I know what you're talking and, about. But like, as there's so many, I deleted uh. at least a hundred comments of everyone commenting on her bangs uh, and how she looked. I, I get the people are I don't like her. So this is something I can make fun of, but it's like, there's, it's any, any time a woman appears on screen, even someone that, that I may disagree with or not like, I know that the, the, the comment section is just immediately going to attack her appearance. And so I, I can't even imagine being a woman on camera, kind of like the stuff you have to deal with in your comment sections. I, I mean, I, it always like when you look at the way someone comments, if they don't like a person, it always reflects what they value. So if like a woman is just talking about literally anything on the planet Earth, some guy who thinks that a woman's value is based in her appearance is going to come on and be like, oh, go stupid, stupid banks. <laughs> you know, it's like that's what they're that's what they value. So that's what they attack. So when right. I <laughs> when I see those comments, I'm like, and I know a lot about you. <laughs> I've learned so much. That's all I need to know. Good day, sir. Black. So yeah, I'm a. I am pro block. Like block them. Right. Oh like, yeah. Oh yeah. I have thousands. All day. I, I thousands upon thousands. See, uh, you don't get to hate on me. Like, and it's it's it, especially if they're being rude to other people. But like, right. You, That's you usually not... when I go if they, if they're going after other commenters, it's just it's not even a question. It's just both yeah. going to block. You don't you don't need to be here. You, it's like you don't have for like you don't get access to my space like you don't I'm like again that's another thing it was like well I should I should get to go anywhere I want to go You're like nope but not are, here aren't you, you yeah just stay in your echo chamber <laughs> it's like, I was that's the thing I hate the most is because it's their excuse to be terrible people it's like well you have to let me be horrible and harass people in your comment sections if you were in my house doing that I wouldn't be yeah, I wouldn't be like Oh well, we have to let them stay. You know, know. We can't, you know, we can't have all of our guests liking each other. Yeah, right? we can't. We have to let them rob us. You know. Yeah. We gotta well, listen. It's the, you don't need to have them harassing and making people feel horrible in your comment sections to also be exposed to other opinions. No, you're on the internet. You're gonna be exposed to other opinions. Also, how do you think we found your video? I. Because <laughs> we're listening to other. Here we are. Other opinions. Jesus. Yeah. You gotta be careful. If you're, I don't know if you're on YouTube. Uh, Not yet. But I, Although I am a little it, bit, I've dabbled. Okay, if you go on there, the the, it, I don't know what it is, but the algorithm. 
because I love YouTube in general, mm -hmm. but the I started like watching some of these videos to critique them or they, oh maybe this will be something. And man, it it funneled me into the alt right pipeline so, so quickly, quick. <laughs> so quickly. <laughs> That's uh, how they oh, get you. Yeah, yeah. I have Jordan Peterson all over my shorts. I critiqued Jordan Peterson one time, and mm -hmm. someone tried to argue that he was a feminist, and I was like, "Have you watched his content?" He said, "If I uh, cut this, if this is not correct, I'm pretty sure we're talking yeah, sure. about the same person." Yeah. But there was a video where he said that women wearing makeup in the workplace was sexual manipulation. Yeah, no, that's that's 100% the same. That's okay, him. we're talking about the yeah. same guy. I was like, yeah. sir, do you think we wear that for you? <laughs> like, yeah. I'm sorry. Welcome to the universe where, like, women don't wear makeup or dress more as men. It's like they do it for themselves. They do it for the girlies. Like, yeah. no, he said, he, I think at that video too, he was saying it was like, oh, the blush and the the red, yes. and it's as if as if women only wear red lipstick. Yeah, that's the that's only it. shade of lipstick. It, that's all he it knows. Mimics the blood flow during arousal. You're like, dude, you need a hobby. Like, you need to go make something outside. Like, sir. Well, I mean, and, and I think he reflects the, this clearly feminist idea. Yes, clearly. Of, uh, clearly, the the idea that um, the only reason women exist is for the gaze of men. Right? Truly. It's like, why, who, who do we do when in high school, like, you know, who are we making cover up? Because, well, the boys can't pay attention, right? Yeah, And that, and that exactly. starts then and it just keeps on going into adulthood. I just love that, like, lesbians or, like, non-binary, like, all of, anybody that's not, like, straight, like, it's out of the frame of mind. I'm like, I like women and I don't do crazy stuff like that. They're like, quiet, you. We don't right. even know no, who you, you, you are. Don't, you don't count, yeah. What are you? Get out of here. Yeah, I'm we're, we're talking. The men are talking. All right, yeah. all right. I was on Reagan's podcast, and we talked about how uh, the title of her of her podcast is "F the Nice Guy," and how people will still not they'll be shocked, like why when you're not being nice <laughs> to to these guys. It's the exact same thing, though. It's like you're 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 saying what what they need to hear. They're like, no, I, I'm not going to listen to that because that doesn't reaffirm what i already right. believe and it's literally anonymous like i never say people's names i like if i do a stitch I, I cut out like so so no one's getting hate so i do my very best but it's like look at the title bro like just look at it and again like i say it over and over like not nice guys not real nice guys in quotations like manipulative dudes and people are just like ha ah! How dare you say anything about a guy that blatantly manipulated a woman for years in a very abusive relationship? You're like, uh, how about her? Is she good? Like, are you worried? Are you worried at all? No, we're not talking about her right now. She's, <laughs> Don't she's, worry about she's her. an object. We're talking about the person, not the object. The human, not, the, not, not his, the, yeah. Not the, the sex the toy. Thing. Yeah. Uh, Quiet, you. Put on some red lipstick. Stop right. it. <laughs> Why are you wearing black lipstick? That doesn't arouse who bought you that? What did, game are you playing? Did your husband get that for you? Oh, God. I bet he didn't. I bet it must have been. <laughs> That's a woman's mistake right there. Yes. Yeah. Did you not <sighs> know the purpose of your lipstick <laughs> was to stimulate Let me my primitive? Let it. Let's go to the mall. I'll buy you some, some pretty shades that will arouse me. <laughs> You're Ew. welcome. Yeah, and you know what? That conversation has probably happened. At it's some almost point. certainly. Let me show you what men like, because that's the only thing you need to know. Oh, uh, <laughs> like, I'm, like, I'm married to a woman. Well, yeah, I'm good. Yes, well, you still, we need you to look still, good. Just, still, well, when when you find the right man, yeah, then you, then you'll know. When you stop playing around, yes, you stop this this game, the charade. Come back to men, and we'll tell you what to look like. Well, Crying I think we got, again. I think we got a good idea. We got a good idea of uh, of of who you are, Reagan. Are, are you sure? ready to uh, to give some bad <laughs> advice with me? Oh shit! Yep, I try so hard to give good advice, so this is gonna be easy. I got oh, it. Oh yeah, no, no, there is no, there is no. The, this is this is the warning again for everybody. <laughs> if we give you good advice, it was an accident. We are not we are not legally liable. If you oh, choose God. to listen to us, we told you ahead of time. Bam. Don't do this. This is bad. Oh, and uh, let's see where this goes. All right. Um, so I have my I have my trusty list of bad questions that are um, submitted by my followers with no context. Love that. Um, question number one, Reagan, should I ghost my needy friend? I've always found that when someone has anxiety and is intense, the best thing to do is give them their worst nightmare. 
just ghost them. Um, don't let them know what's going on. Uh, just just put a Facebook status that's like clearing out my friends so they see it and they're like, what the hell is that me? And then they can just those have a the, full... Those are the worst. Can we talk about that for a second? <laughs> um, just, I'm going to, I'm cleaning up my friends list. Uh, if we don't interact, I need you to tell me how great you think I am in this comment section right now or else uh, you're probably going to be gone. <laughs> I freaking love failed Facebook because you're like, that is so specific. Like that is one person you were talking to. Like, like, like moving on to people who don't steal my outfits and get with my right. boyfriend. You're like, just tag them. Tag them although, at this although, point. Tell me you can't, or maybe it's me. I feel, it feels so good though when I make the cut. <laughs> oh, I, I like, yeah. oh, how outrageous. This is, why are you even doing that? That's gross. I made it. I made it. Oh my God. I am your friend. Wow. I know. Jesus. Yeah, no, I definitely, I need approval for sure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I need, I, I don't like it, but it's very important to me that you, you tell me this. This was a very subtle way. Was this about me to begin with? You wanted me to see you. I get it. I get it. Jesus. Uh, but yeah, ghost, ghosting friends. I think, I think definitely go right away. Just, just lead into the ghosting. And then I think three months from now, sit, just text them with, Hey, and then just don't ever respond when they were back again. And then block that them. One. Give it. Yeah. Then block them. So you give them the breadcrumb. Yep. Yep. Block them and move on. That I think is the kindest way of handling it for sure. I think At so. least no questions, no fears, no doubts. Question number two. Thoughts on toe rings? <laughs> illegal. Illegal. They should be illegal. They are okay. a crime against humanity. <laughs> They're outlandish. No. Okay. Do you have you ever owned a toe ring or been gifted a toe ring? <laughs> Probably, yeah. By yes. a nice guy. <laughs> I just I just think they're so showy. It's like it's all about you. Like they're just too much. Like you need to calm down. And like, why am I being forced to look at your feet anyways? Put shoes on. That's what I say. Right. That's my advice. And as a man, <laughs> uh, here, here, my what I would also offer is advice. So if you do decide to go with the toe rings, be sure to post pictures of your toes on the internet. I've heard that those can be very popular. And like, if a guy likes the picture of the toe ring, like it is just he loves metal. He loves craftsmanship. Like when he's asking for your number, or your address, he wants to get to know you so he can buy a toe ring. I get Don't... a better look at the of the of the, yeah. the craftsmanship of this because that's what men yeah. men love metals and and working on mm -hmm. on these sort of things. That's all it's about. Don't In fact, be concerned. You know, if some if someone asks you for more, you should send them close more. up pictures of, close up of, the, of them while well, wearing they... it though, so they get the full. <laughs> Well, on and off, because so, they need to see the effect. Like, yeah, sure. here's one with it. I don't here's think they're going to care about the ones that are. We have just led someone astray. We have just sent someone a dangerous path. This is Bad Advice Wednesdays. <laughs> this is really bad. With Chesco and Reagan. And I, I want to reiterate, you should not listen to us. <laughs> <laughs> don't put your feet on the internet. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't know that was a thing until I started seeing... Um, Maybe I'm weird. I don't know. Because there's there's websites devoted to it. So I saw a friend that was like, blur anytime her foot would be in, in a picture on Instagram, she'd blur it out or put like a sticker over it. Oh, my gosh. And I, 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 was, like, I was like, what are you doing? She's like, oh, well, people have been trying to get my feet for this website. It's like, what? So it's like, it's like a conscious thing of people like constantly posting in her comment sections, post your feet, Give show your, your feet. feet. Yeah. Oh, God. I don't want I don't it. Know. It's you know, not a to, lot. And, and like if it's a consensual kink, sure. Sure. Whatever. If both parties. <laughs> yeah. But if you're stealing. So if you're like I constantly on the lookout for the glimpse of some toes that you can post on online, that's that's weird. That's real weird. What do you think it means when a guy keeps a list of all the girls he has slept with? I think he's a sweetheart. I think he keeps a list because he wants to send her, them all flowers on Valentine's Day. Like, thank you for being there for me in my life. Do you think it's Do you think it's a physical list, <laughs> or like a like a oh, notes app? I'm like seeing actual... it as like an in a notebook with heart. <laughs> Little okay, the, and maybe a maybe a number ranking. Yeah, a ranking. He's organized. 
very organized. That do, um, you know, it does tell, yeah, attention to detail. <laughs> He's going to remember your birthday. That's for sure. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I think in this situation, if you find out that your partner has their own list of the people they love, you should make a list for them as well. Compare notes. You should Compare say, notes. here's I my think, list. I think it sounds to me like a guy like this would really appreciate. Men love, like men that make those lists love body count. They want a high oh, one. Yeah. They want, they that's, that's like a high score. Because I think I think most men really want to listen and learn to to be better in bed for their partners. Mm-hmm. It's, that's what it's what it's I mean that's at least my experience with men from friendship perspective <laughs> what does that mean from a friendship perspective why shouldn't I get back with my ex no reason you're good I mean I've found you end relationships for just no reason at all you make little decisions and yeah you had compatibility at one point what's to say what's to say it won't that spark won't come back again. Remember how good it felt that first couple of weeks before you found out who they were? What if that could be what if that could be the whole thing? When he cheated on you, you had a lot of emotion and it's like because you really care, you know? I find if they treat you like garbage, it's because they're hurting. You know, I think hurt especially, people hurt especially people. when they cheat. Yeah, you know, when they cheat, I think it's a way of testing to see if this is gonna be the long term. You know, how would yeah. you know unless you stray? How do you know you like the meal you're eating unless you take a bite of something else? I don't. I Whenever I have dinner, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> I need a second meal on the side. And then I can choose. And, and, once, and when I continually am choosing that same meal every time, I know that's the meal I want to have for dinner every day for the rest of my life. Or he, maybe he was confused. Like, not only what is this meal, but like, oopsie. And he fell into another meal. He slipped and How that happened. How often does that happen? How often Every does that happen? <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean, and it, but it was, I'm sure it was just like, he didn't enjoy the other meal anyways. It no, was more of it, like was a, gross. it was more of like a, he was hungry. It was a he physical He was hungry hunger. at the time. Everybody's hungry. Mm -hmm. A mm -hmm. man gets hungry. Man's got to eat. They say man's the way got... to a man's heart is through his stomach. I think we, and... <laughs> we solved it. So she was in the stomach. She's out, digested. We're moving on and... Get on, get on back with that eating man. You know he's he needs another meal. So we're doing great. This is this great. Is so dumb. Can I date two wonderful men at the same time? I feel bad giving bad advice to this. <laughs> I know. I'm like, what's what is bad advice for this? Because I'm like, le leave them both. That could be good advice. I think as long as you have a schedule. So like, just because you don't want cross, like you don't want to like if Larry's Tuesday and Gil is. Wednesday, you don't want to, you know, the two most common names for men. <laughs> How many Larry and Gills do I know? <laughs> Thank goodness they both not named Larry, which I know would be that. the most likely scenario. That's why you have this calendar. You have so the calendar. Gill, Larry, mm -hmm. different days, write it all down, make sure you've got the list together. You another, know, list? another list? Another list? I, Lists if are I, saving lives. I t if, if I told you the amount of times I was saved by a list when I was dating, Gilly, good old Gilly. Oh, love Gilly. Oh, it's a shame it didn't work out. Maybe we'll get back together per our last question. Hopefully, hopefully. I mean, I'll tell my wife. <laughs> yeah, if you really, if you really loved him. Yeah. You would. If yeah, I mean, put a man's needs first. That's what I'm saying. That's my motto. Every time. Would mm -hmm. you even ask your wife, or would you just kind of go for it? I don't need a woman's opinion. Okay. No. I don't need my okay. I don't even listen to my own opinion. I let the man tell me how I feel. How do you deal with having an inner monologue? I don't. It's just like and then sometimes like a show tune. What I no, I I have to know what show, which one? What what's what song is playing? 76 trombone. <laughs> I tried to think of an obscure one. So I think that we, one. I think we solved that. I think that's you're welcome. <laughs> Just a little music man for you. I hope we, I hope we gave that uh, that that <laughs> follower some good advice. I don't even know what the question was. Should I have another kid? I have a three year old, a seventeen month old, and a three month old. <laughs> Why I not? Think... <laughs> I think just keep it going. See, I think if you just keep up that pace, who knows what the future could hold? You can have an army. 
Sure. You could have your own little little elite fighting force. There's got to be there's got to be a certain point where at that point it's just it's just noise background noise at that. Yeah, of course. And they like paired the themselves. Two, that's a difficult decision, right? That, sure, that's, sure. That's double. But, you know, the fraction gets smaller and smaller. Yeah, and then you get older ones that can parent for you. You're living the high life. You're out at the pool. And, you know, I found that society treats mothers with such respect and dignity and mm. is so helpful. Like, the village just arrives as soon as the baby's born. They're showing up. They're taking care of everything. The mom is just able to relax, shower. I feel like I'm going to, my skin's going to burn off with this. This is the opposite of everything I believe. I'm throwing it out there. I am, I am uh, worried. That there's, there's a part of me that's worried that at some point this will resurface out of context. Like a sound bite? I guess sound bite's just going to be out there of this is, wow, this is, this is, this is, this is the guy. This is the new Andrew This is Tate. him. We you knew know? it. I want to decrease my time in the shower. Any tips? <laughs> Don't. Don't wash yourself. That's what I, I, I just literally, I stand in and then I get right out. I think showering is probably a conspiracy. Like are, are you, do you really by, want to talk about this on here? Like that's a serious be, I thing. Mean, I think it's being pushed by big shampoo. I have been saying this for years. B- big shampoo, big soap. We want to talk about big soap for a second. When, when I was, mm. when I lived on my own, I would shower maybe monthly. I was fine. Yeah. I mean, you get this like protective smell that comes out, which is your body like fighting bacteria. That's what women want. Is that is, that... A, is a musk? Well, Reagan, this was delightful. <laughs> on that note, on that note, I hope I hope that uh, we uh, that this is always in context. For the love of God, please. For everyone, yeah, and uh, and that nobody actually listens to us. Um, where where can people find you uh, if if they want to go look for you online? So you can find me on TikTok at F the Nice Guy. Uh, that's where I will be, and you can find I have my F the Nice Guy podcast, which you can find anywhere podcasts are. I'm on Reagan's podcast. Do you know when that's coming out? I don't know when this is even coming out, so I don't. That's probably that won't help. Tuesday. How about, it's gonna come out on Tuesday. <laughs> it's, it's it's already out. <laughs> The third Friday, though, um, it'll be on. It'll be on a Saturday, but I'll which... be on. So on some Saturday, and depending on when you're listening to this, which could be a year from now, <laughs> I was on there. And if you have a search features exist, <laughs> and you'll be able to find our delightful talk about nice guys. Mm-hmm. Truly, truly delightful. Well, thank you. <laughs> I think. That- And that was Bad Advice on a Wednesday. If you enjoyed today's show, please like, please subscribe, share it with your friends, drop a five-star review. You can always support us financially at patreon.com slash thespeechprof. All links of everything we talked about will be available in the show notes. And most importantly, remember this is intended to be bad advice. Please do not listen to anything we said. I'm sorry. Okay, don't rhyme slinger. Good advice giver. Listen for a second, let me try and paint a picture. Raises coming up and you want your check bigger. Moving quiet just won't get you seen. Your boss a clicker, uh.